God, that's trouble my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you I roll. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Let's sing to the Father. Father. Father, Father, let's sing to the Spirit, 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 Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you, I roll, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Father, Father, Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto Him I roll. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Savior, Savior. Savior, let's sing to Jesus, Jesus, Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens. Unto him I rule, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. 
Let's sing to the Father, 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 Father. Let's sing to the Spirit, Spirit. Spirit, let's sing to Jesus, 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 Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take control. <clears throat> of every situation, That has troubled my mind All my cares and burdens unto you I rule Jesus Jesus Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take <clears throat> of every situation All my cares and burdens unto he my room Jesus 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 Worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, 
King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Jesus, you are Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are Jesus. Jesus, you are Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you, Savior, you are Savior. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are Savior, Jesus, you are Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Let I leave you water flow over my soul. Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you I roll, hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Father, Father. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you for you are. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, for you are. We 
we worship you. Alleluia, alleluia, we worship you. For you are all the time, all the time. We worship you. Alleluia, alleluia, we worship you for you are. We worship you. Alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> We worship you. For you are all the time. We worship you. We glorify your name. We worship you. Hallelujah. Alleluia. We worship you, for you are. We worship you, Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. We worship you, for you are. We worship you. Alleluia, alleluia. We worship you, for you are. Magnify the Lord with me, as are the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me, as are the name of Jesus. I say glorify the Lord with me, as are the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus, I say glorify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus, I say glorify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus, I say, glorify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus, I say, glorify. By the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus. He's coming back again, my Lord, he's coming back again. Mm -hmm. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again, Jesus is coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He's coming back again. He's coming back again, our oh, Lord is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. 
is coming back again jesus is coming back again oh glory hallelujah is coming back again is coming back again our lord is coming back again he went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again, Jesus is coming back again. Oh glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Our Lord is coming back again. Oh glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again. He's coming back again, Jesus is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again, Jesus is coming back again. Oh glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again, he's coming back again, Jesus is coming back again, he went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. Oh glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. Coming back again. The way I promise that he's coming back again. He's coming back again, our Lord is coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again. What a you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords. You are worthy, Jesus. You are Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords. I worship you. Let I live in water. Flow over my soul. Blessed Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you I roll. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
Jesus, let us sing to the Father, 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 let us sing to Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus, name of Jesus, let God arise and our enemies be scattered. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all welcome to the Our Miracles Radio and TV Ministries of the Jesus Christ Global Mission, reaching you all the way from Langham, Maryland. This is Archbishop Stephen John Biokuru coming your way with the living word of God that saves, heals, delivers, and blesses. Thank you, Jesus. We give God glory. It's been so much snow over here, storms and rains and so on and so forth. Uh, some people don't even have light and so on. But uh, God is with us and... Um, we're going to be able to do what God wants us to do today. And uh, we ask that the Holy Spirit we bless this program today. As many that are joining us from Facebook, Twitter, Link, uh, all over the world, you are welcome. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for joining this program. In the name of Jesus, I tell you, God is going to minister to everyone today <clears throat> by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Our topic today is war is not a blessing in any ramification. Fighting and wars and bombing they are not a blessing at all. Even though the scriptures have already said in Matthew 24, Matthew's Gospel 24, it says there shall be wars and rumors of war. And even in the days of Abraham, the days of David, there were wars in the Bible. And then there was war in heaven, according to the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and 12. Uh, but those wars were a little different from what we have now. Uh, more of the wars then were uh, about uh, liberty and freedom, opposing evil, opposing oppression. But most of the fightings we have today are for selfish reading, for greed, and for, for, for selfish reasons. And uh, by the grace of God, we're going to come against that spirit. These are blood-sucking demons. You know, John 10.10, 10, he said, The thief, that Satan, came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give us life, and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He came to give us peace. But uh, if you look at the world today, People don't want peace. They want trouble. They want problems. And uh, when you see problems, uh, you, you can't even handle them. You know? <clears throat> so we rather choose peace. Oh, yes. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. I got joy like a river, I got joy like a river, I got joy like a river in my soul, I got peace like an ocean, I got peace like an ocean, I got peace like an ocean in my soul, I got peace like an ocean, I got peace like an ocean, I got peace like an ocean in my soul. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river in my soul. 
I got faith like a river. I got faith like a river. I got faith like a river in my soul. Jesus said, peace be still. And there was peace because he's the owner of peace. He's the prince of peace and the Lord of lords, the everlasting father. Our text is taken from the book of James chapter 4 from verses 1 to 8. James chapter 4 from verses 1 to 8. James, the man with wisdom, the pastor of the church in Jerusalem, wrote about the reasons for fighting in James chapter 4 from verses 1 to 8. He said, Ye fight a war, from whence cometh wars and fighting? From whence cometh wars and fighting and destruction of lives and property and all these things that are going on? From where do they come from? And then he spelled out the source of those things. Ye ask and ask amiss, you are fighting for selfish reasons and for selfish purposes, for greed. And that's why there's so much fighting and wars and conflicts and confrontations. But we pray against that spirit in the name of Jesus. We don't want to see blood shed everywhere. People dying and killing. The coronavirus is even another form of war. We are fighting that one. We haven't finished. And uh, all of a sudden, China is trying to bring out the Third World War, and then Russia on the other side trying to bring out the Third World War. We don't need those wars. We don't need any more wars, because uh, wars had to do with killing and destructions of lives and properties. It was it's Satan who came to destroy. It is the devil that came to steal, to kill, to destroy. Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. Why will you like war? Why will you prefer war? Why will you go to war? See, it is for selfish reasons and greed. You fight and fight, you ask and miss. You are not getting it because you are not asking. And when you ask, you ask for your selfish reasons. You know, one person alone wants to own everything. One person alone wants to have everything. You know, dictatorship. These are the causes of the wars. I'm bigger than you. I'm greater than you. I want you to come under me. I am your leader. And, uh, you know, it's oppression. This is depression. This is oppression. And the Bible calls it wickedness. He said, there is no peace for the wicked. That's what the, the word of God says. Mm -hmm. There is no peace for the wicked because the wicked, they are always drumming for wars and fighting and killings and destructions of lies and property. God didn't send you to fight wars. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20, verse 30 says, Thou shalt not kill. God didn't want you to kill. That's why the laws of God, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13, God said, Thou shalt not kill. Why will you kill? You don't have to kill. Even Jesus, when he was on earth, he refused to kill anybody. Jesus never killed nobody. Even when Peter was trying to strike back, and he cut off the ears of those who came to Arrest Jesus at the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus put the ear back. Say no. He that killed by the sword shall also die by the sword. Why will you kill? You don't have to. You know, there's so much selfishness and greed all over the world right now. And all these things are gender strife and arrogance and selfishness and greed. One person alone wants to have everything. God is not like that. God is not mocked. Whatever seed a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Why will you sow the seed of wars and fighting? There is a way that seems right unto you, but the end thereof is the way of destruction. 
To you, it is okay to fight and kill and destroy life and property. But that's not the way of God. God didn't create you to go around, uh, you know, bombing and shooting and throwing missiles, uh, send the innocent people to go and fight wars that they didn't create. You know, innocent soldiers, innocent men and women, Innocent military, innocent uh, Air Force and Navy and the Marines will now be sent out there to go and die. Die for nothing's sake. Die for what? Die for who? You know, this is not God. God is a God of peace. You know, he is the Prince of Peace. So we want to come against that spirit in the name of Jesus. We bind that spirit. The blood sucking demons. The spirit of wars and fighting and killing and destruction, we bind them from our nations. We bind them from all over the world. We bind them in the name of Jesus. We rebuke them. We pull down the strongholds of darkness, the forces of evil that are going about seeking whom to devour. We rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against Satan and all his demons going about, seeking whom to devour. The Lord rebuke all of you, spirits of bloodshed and war-hungry demons. We bound all of you in the name of Jesus. We curse you. We rebuke you. We pull down your strongholds. We render you important. By the blood of Jesus, you shall not prevail. Yes, there must be peace on earth. Jesus said, peace be still. Jesus is saying to the whole world today, peace be still. Yes, he's the prince of peace. He's the prince of peace. Jesus said, peace be still. When he was born, the angel came and announced, he said, peace on earth, goodwill to all men. Uh, the blessed are the peacemakers. For theirs is the kingdom of God. God is not the author of wars and fighting and killing. Even the war in heaven is Satan that initiated it. The archangel, Lucifer, transformed himself to become Satan. And he started rebellion against the almighty God. And that was how the war started in heaven. Uh, it was not God who initiated wars. There was war in heaven. The angel Michael was assigned to dethrone Satan and all his group and send them away from heaven. And uh, they came into this world and continued their confusion and all the things they did. But uh, thank God Jesus has given us victory. Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are in trouble. Our Lord reigneth in our life today. Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are defeated. Our Lord reigneth in our life today. Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are in more trouble. Our Lord reigneth in our life today. Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are in trouble. Our Lord reigneth in our life today. You want to sell your equipment. You want to sell your war equipment. Don't initiate war. Please, don't do that. You, you, you manufacture wall equipment, you manufacture armor tanks, you manufacture, you produce uh, war equipment and jet bombers and fight jump, uh, jump bombers and then, uh, you know, you do submarine. That's your business. You produce those things. So you want to sell them. And that's why you are initiating war. That is why you are drumming for war. That is why you are dragging people into war. God asked me to tell you to stop. Yes, all those nations and their presidents that are trying to initiate wars, dragging the whole world into war and causing confusion. God asked me to tell you all to stop fighting, stop killing, stop 
all those war arrangements they are doing. You got to stop. You got to make peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Yes, make peace with your neighbors. Make peace with everybody. War has never been a blessing to anybody. War is destruction of lives and property. War is fighting and killing and shooting and bombing missiles. God did not call us to war. God did not create you to fight wars. The whole purpose of man on earth is to serve God and to keep his commandments. That's what God created you for. God created you to serve him, to worship him, to love him. God didn't create you to go around fighting wars and bombing and shooting and killing. And That's not the vision of God. You need to repent. Thou shalt not kill. That's the law of God in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. God said, Thou shalt not kill. He that kill by the sword shall also die by the sword. You are killing by the sword. You remember, you are going to also die by the sword. So you got to come out of that spirit. That is not the spirit of God. The spirit of God is the spirit of peace and love and joy and unity and oneness and singleness of heart. In heaven, you are not going there to fight wars. Why will you start it now? No. And uh, all those nations who want to conquer other people's nation. From nowhere, you want to take somebody else's country. You want to take over other nations. God didn't send you to do that. And uh, Saddam Hussein was trying to take over Kuwait. And that's how the, the Gulf War started. And then uh, Saddam Hussein ended very badly. You know, he died by electrocution. Is that what you want to do? You know, Osama bin Laden came and was bombing, bombing. And then he they, they was shot dead. And uh, that's how he ended his life. You no, know, Mama Gaddafi, he ordered the killing, the, the bombing of the Panam Airlines. You no, know, Mama Gaddafi of Libya, he ordered the, the, the bombing of the Panam Airlines, killing over a hundred people on board. And uh, uh, Ronald Reagan, President Ronald Reagan, was in power then. And he came against him. He sent bombers to Libya, bombed his, his houses, killed his first his son. He escaped. But the day God shot him to death, that was how Magadafi died. See, people who look for war, that's how they end their lives. Adolf Hitler initiated the Second World War. And uh, his aim was to rule the whole world. Adolf Hitler said, if I will not rule the world, I will destroy it. Those are the words of Adolf Hitler of, of Germany. He, say, he said, if I will, I will not rule the whole world, then I will destroy the whole world. That's what he said. And uh, why will you rule the whole world? God did not create you to rule the whole world. You, you, who asked you to go and rule the whole world? No. And uh, he said he was going to destroy the world. He, born, he killed all the Israelites, uh, over, over one million Jews. He gassed them to death. And he initiated the Second World War. Millions of people died. And uh, how did he end? He too committed suicide. And then the Bible says, cost is everyone who committed suicide. Anyone who died by suicide, is, is cost. That's what the word of God says. So he left this earth with a cost. You see? So war is not a blessing. It does not bring good to anybody. I remember the Nigerian Civil War in the 1960s and early 70s, Nigeria, where I came from, uh, the Biafra War. It was not a blessing. He, he, you know, people died. People were being killed left and right. You know, shooting and bombing and killing and destruction of lives and property. Mm -hmm. 
You know, many families are here to recover from all those things. You know, so fighting wars, wars, that's not what we need right now. And uh, you look at the news, it's filled with uh, wars. They, they are trying to talk about a, a third world war. We don't need it. God didn't bring it. We don't need it. You know, want to go and occupy other people's country. That's not your country. Taiwan is not your country. Taiwan belongs to the Taiwanese. And then uh, Ukraine, Ukraine belongs to the people of Ukraine. Why will you go to Ukraine and try to occupy it? You say it's your own. That's not your country. The Ukraine belongs to the people of Ukraine. So these are selfish motives. You know, these are greed and selfishness and greed. And the Bible in James chapter 4, verses 1 to 8, it says, Yea, fight and war because you are greedy, you are selfish, you, you want everything for yourself. That's the spirit of the devil, Satan. And all those forces, God is going to crush those powers. They, they're, not going to, they're not going to lead us. The devil can't lead us in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Lord of Lords, is the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the ruler of the whole world. He got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole wide world in his hands. He got the whole 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 world in his hands. He got you and me in his hands. He got a little, little baby. In his hands, he got everybody. In his hands, he got the whole world. In his hands, oh yes, he got the whole world. Jesus got the whole world. In his hands, God has the whole world in his hands. And uh, he brought us peace. Uh, peace and peace and peace and joy and love. Uh, Jesus came to give us peace. Uh, Jesus said, I give unto you peace, not as the world giveth, but I give you peace. And uh, you look at the world today, you begin to wonder, are these people ready to receive the peace that Jesus gave us? You know, the, the drumming for wars, they're, they're trying to initiate wars and fightings and killings. You know, God did not uh, uh, send you to do that. We need to repent. We need to repent of those attitudes. You know, uh, God did not send you to fight wars. Wars are not a blessing. I was just talking about the Nigerian Civil War. I was a little boy then. And uh, we ran into the bush because uh, the soldiers were everywhere. There's going to be bombing and shooting and killing. So people ran into the bush, ran into the woods, ran into forests to go and hide. And uh, a lot of people died. Uh, it, it, it didn't move us forward. It's not that, that didn't move Nigeria forward. Pe you know, peace is what we need. Uh, we don't need wars and fighting. Those, those are for selfish reasons. And uh, as I look at the whole world today, I see that... Uh, some people, as soon as they get money, they become rich. The next thing is to organize for war. I see this phenomenon all the time. As soon as some people are rich, they want to go to war. They want to go and fight wars. They go and employ soldiers and military and so on, buy equipment and wars, and they start to mobilize people to the war front. That is not the reason why you are rich. When you are rich, you are to help the poor and the needy, to minister to the hungry and the poor and feed the hungry and help people who are in need. You know, you are, God didn't bless you to go and buy tanks and armored cars and uh, jet bombers and jet fighters, and then you start threatening people. You want to take over other people's country. You want to go and occupy other people's country. You know, you don't have to do that. We need to repent. God sent us to 
to talk to the whole world. You need to repent. Christians all over the world, please, we want you to pray against this spirit of war and fighting and shedding of blood. Innocent people are now being recruited. Innocent men and women are being recruited to go to wars and fight and kill themselves. And uh, uh, so many of them die for, for just no reason. You know, God didn't send you to do that. So Christians all over the world, we are appealing to you to pray against this spirit. Uh, you got to talk against it, rebuke that spirit, whatever we can do to stop that spirit. It's not the spirit of God. The devil, John 10, 10, Satan came to steal, to kill, to destroy, but Jesus came to give life and life more abundantly. So we see anybody drumming for war. The, that's not God. God didn't ask you to go and fight war. See people drumming for wars and they, they are not sent by God. They, they are agents of Satan. Satan, John 10, 10, Satan came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. So we come against those evil spirits, those blood-sucking demons. Spirit of untimely death, spirit that goes around snatching people's lives through wars and destructions of nations and people. We bound you, we rebuke you, we cast you away, we pull down your strongholds, we render you potent. By the blood of Jesus, we send you packing. Get out of those nations, get out of those presidents, get out of the world leaders. Get out. Go in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devil. We say peace on earth and joy to every family and homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Yes, we welcome the woman of God, uh, Pastor Evangelist Vanessa Ali. Uh, she's going to share some songs and some word of God. Uh, whatever God lay in her heart. Uh, uh, Pastor Ali, over to you. Praise the Lord. God ha Hallelujah. Good. Hallelujah. Amen. I apologize for coming on late. I, I, I had some things I had to get done, and so I apologize for getting on the um, call later today. Yes. But God is good. He's an on time God. He's an on time God, and we just give him praise. Yeah. We give him glory, we give him honor, but this is the day that the Lord has made, yeah. and we will rejoice and be glad. You know, it's important how you start your day. Yeah. You know, people people sometimes focus on their issues instead of and how big their issues are instead of focusing on how big our God is. Yeah. And so we serve a mighty God, we serve an awesome God. So I just want to worship the Lord with this song. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we, we serve. serve. Oh, come on, what a mighty, mighty God, God we serve. What a mighty God we, we serve. serve. You know the angel bow before For him. Heaven and earth adore him. What With a mighty, mighty God, God we serve. Oh, this is the day. This is the day, day that the Lord has, has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the, the day, day that the Lord has made. I will, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This, this is, is the day, this is the day that the Lord, Lord has made. Well, I will enter 
Holy Spirit, that our breath of this day, many potent Father of mercy and Thou art welcome in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're welcome in this place today, oh God. We invoke your presence right now. As we lift you up, you said, if I would be lifted up, you would draw all men unto yourself. Father. Yes. You said that you inhabit the praises of your people. So just come and dwell within us today. Dwell among us today, oh God, as we seek your face. We need you. Hallelujah. We need your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We worship you in the beauty of holiness. There is none like you. There's none like thee, O God. Oh, yes, Lord. We continue to lift you up. No one else. There's no one else in this whole world. Not our mother, our father, our sister, our brothers, our our husbands, our wives, none of us, none, no one else, no one else can do what you do, Lord. There's only one God. You are the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And besides you, there is no other God. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity, Lord, and find yes, like you. Oh, draw me, Lord. Oh. And I'll run after you. Oh, draw me, Lord. Oh, draw me, Lord. And I'll run after you. And I'll run after you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We bless your holy name. We magnify you, O God. There is none like you, Father God. You are the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. You are the Father. You are the first and the last. You are the chief God. You are the chief God. You are the chief God. You are the road of Sharon. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We just praise you, Father. Just because of who you are, Lord. We lift you up and we magnify your holy and your righteous name. There is none like you, O God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. As we lift up holy hands in your presence, saying thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Because you know God has been so good to us. He woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. He gave us a mind to think. He gave us eyes to see. He gave us ears to hear. He gave us mouth to talk. He gave us mouth to talk. He gave us mouth to talk. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've been so You've been so good. You've been so good. Just think of all the things that God has done for you. And just say, I just want to. 
Lord. We lift them up to you in the name of Jesus, according to your word. We're praying, Father, for your peace in the name of Jesus. No one can do anything without you, Father. You said without you, we can do nothing. And we just lift up these nations, oh God, that's going back and forth and back and forth in chaos, Lord, because you're not a God of confusion. And I just thank you right now, Father, as we pray, you hear our prayer, for you said the prayers of a righteous person are there as much. You said one could put a thousand and two could put ten thousand in flight. So we just give you the glory and praise and honor today as we lift up these nations as uh, anticipating fighting against other Lord, I just pray and I ask for your peace. Intervene, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, according to your word. Amen and amen. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm just gonna turn it back over to Bishop Barapur and 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 as you know, as we please. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah for the Lord of to my terrain. Hallelujah for the Lord has done to my dreams. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, that was a good one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. When the good people keep quiet, the evil people came up and uh, took over. Amen. The reason we Christians are talking now is we are encouraging peace and joy and love among our nations. The First World War came because people were trying to overshadow each other. This country wants to overshadow the other country. The other country wants to overshadow the other country. And there was so much conflict and confrontations until the whole world was plunged into First World War that killed so many people and destruction of lives and property. And then after that, for some years, there was some peace. There was some peace until Adolf Hitler drummed for a Second World War and... Uh, uh, he plunged the whole world into a second world war that also destroyed a lot of lives and property and so on and so forth. Now, they are drumming for a third world war. That's what they, they are trying to bring up. But Jesus said, peace on earth, peace to the whole world, peace be still. Yes. God is not interested in the killing of people and in destruction of lives and property. God is not interested. Righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. God loves you. You need to love your neighbor as yourself. Don't go and take somebody else's country. Don't go and take somebody else's property. Those who do things like this, they don't, they don't end well. Pharaoh came against the Jews and made them slaves, enslaved them and punished them for many years until God brought deliverance to Israel and brought them to the land of promise. There is too much oppression. There is too much suppression. There is too much dictatorship. There are so many things going on. All these are not the spirit of God. You know, racism all over the place and tribalism and uh, terrorism and uh, kidnapping of people. And all these are evil works of the devil. And if we don't, if we don't campaign for this thing to stop, the devil is going to have his way. Today, as a servant of the Most High God, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that there should be a stop to all this evil going on around the world. Jesus said, peace be still. Jesus said, I give you peace. Jesus said, there is peace on earth and love and unity and oneness and singleness of heart. We have too much to deal with. 
The coronavirus is still there. We haven't finished with that. Delta variants came and then Omicron came. We are still trying to come, you know, to handle those things. Before we know it, some people are drumming for war and uh, now they are recruiting soldiers to go to war again and die and kill themselves. These are husbands. These are families. These are uh, fathers and parents. They are now going over there now to be shot dead, to be killed by bombs and missiles and all these things. You know, uh, uh, God said, Thou shalt not kill. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. God didn't create you to fight wars. God didn't create us to fight wars. We must repent. We must repent. Everybody must repent. China, you got to repent. Russia, you got to repent of this evil. Don't drag the whole world into a third world war. Please don't do that. You are destroying life and property. When you do those things, you are violating the laws of God. God said, thou shalt not kill. Why will you you know, make room for people to go and die for nothing's sake. Shedding of blood for nothing's sake. You got to repent of those evil. You need to turn away from those wicked ways and embrace God and love God and love people and love families and love. And these words are in various forms. You know, James chapter 4, verses 1 to 8, he said, from whence comes wars and fightings and killings and destructions? It comes from your own greed and selfishness, mm -hmm. your own wayward ways of thinking, hatred. Uh, you don't have love. If you have love, you wouldn't think of people going to die. If you have love, you will not think of all those money you are going to spend buying tanks and making bombs, manufacturing hydrogen bomb, nitrogen bombs, you know, jet fighters and bomb fighters, all those millions and billions of dollars. Why don't you people use it to help the poor people? Why don't you help your nations and help your countries and help the people of your nations? You want to go and plunge all that money because it's very expensive to fight wars. I remember the Gulf War, Operation Desert Storm. It was millions and billions and billions of dollars that they had to spend just to fight those wars. And then other wars are not coming. And then billions upon billions upon billions upon billions upon billions of pounds sterling and uh, dollars. All these are going to go into killing of human beings and destruction of lives and property. God is not in it. God is not in it. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. You got to repent and come from your evil ways and seek the Lord God Almighty. You know, and uh, even at family levels, there are wars. Even at family level, you know, there's the gender strife. You know, the gender strife is another form of war. Uh, uh, women trying to dominate. Uh, women want to rule. They want to. Uh, they want to be authority in their homes. Uh, they want to be the the authorities. That's not what God said. God said it shall be a help meet to your husband. You know, uh, that you be a help meet. God wants you to be a help meet. You know, the book of Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, when God created Adam and Eve, he created them male and female to, to companionship and help your husbands, help your wives, love your wives, love your husbands, that you be love in the home, in the family, that you be no strife, gender strife. It's another form of war in the families. And uh, you go around, it's all divorces all over the place. 
These are these are kind of various kind of wars, and the children are becoming wayward uh, because children are caught up in all these things, and uh, children instead of uh, giving their life to Jesus Christ, they are fighting and killing and shooting because the homes are broken, the families are broken, and so uh, there is no peace. You know, we need to come out of all these things. Uh, uh, we need to uh, love one another. Uh, love, love is what it's all about. You know, if, if the nations, if people love themselves, they won't be fighting wars. You know, it's about forgiveness. It's about uh, not allowing the spirit of hate to be in your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you love your labor, you will not uh, go and deprive him or her, depriving people of what is meant for them, taking over their land. Look at Nigeria, for instance. Nigeria. They uh, the southern Nigeria, where the oil came from, the northerners, they want to claim southern Nigeria as their own. Whereas southern Nigeria belongs to the southerners, the southern Nigeria they they own their land and their property and everything and even the oil there but northern nigeria they want to come to the south and take everything away from them take the oil take all the everything away even the land you know the land of nigeria now the fulani they are bringing cattle cattle rearers to occupy those lands and they are eating up the plants and the, the, the vegetation. And now the people can't go to farm again because the Fulani people, they claim to own Nigeria. They claim to be the owners of the nation. And uh, they they try to occupy uh, the whole of the southern Nigeria, uh, depriving southerners of their land. And pro all these things, are, they bring wars and fightings. It shouldn't be so. Uh, you need to mind your own. You got to uh, belong where you are. You can't go and take over other people's land, take over other people's property, take over other nations, take over people's other people's wealth, and divert it to your own. God, God does not pray that way. That's greed. That's selfishness. You know, uh, that's a... Uh, Depriving people of what belongs to them. That, that's oppression. Dictatorship. God is very angry with those things. Uh, uh, God is not mocked. Whatever seed you sow is what you shall reap. When you sow wickedness, you get wickedness. You sow evil, you get evil. And people who do things like this, they, they too, they, they don't end well. They too are, are, are in trouble. Uh, Saddam Hussein, he went to take over Kuwait. Kuwait is not your own. Kuwait, Kuwait belongs to the people of Kuwait. And then you want to go there and take over that land. That's not going to happen. And uh, uh, plunge the whole world into war. And uh, at the end of it, Saddam Hussein was... was he, he died by electrocution. See, people who people who, who go that way, that is how they end. There is a way that seamen ride unto you, but the end thereof is destruction. That's the book of Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. There is a way that seamen ride unto you, but the end, is destruction to you it is all right to take other people's land take other people's nation take other people's property and deprive them of what belongs to them to you is right but it is the way of destruction that's proverbs uh, chapter 14 verse 12 so god is speaking today this message goes to the people of china and to the people of Russia, God is speaking to you all to repent and give your life to Jesus. Stop drumming for war. Stop fighting. Stop 
buying equipment of war, stop turning the whole world into plunge. Stop plunging the world into another war. We don't need war. We need peace. Jesus came to give us peace. Why will you create wars? You know, you are, you are going to recruit people to go and kill themselves and die in battlefields. You don't have to do that. You need to repent. God sent me to warn you, if you don't stop this evil and you continue to organize for wars and fighting and killing and wars, if you continue, you will regret. Oh yes, you're going to regret because the whole thing is going to turn against you and you will all regret of what you have done. So you need to repent of this evil. The people of China and Russia, God is speaking to you all to repent and turn away from fighting wars and uh, manufacturing war equipment and trying to go to war and planning for wars. You don't have to. You don't have to. That's the way of destruction. The devil came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. Abundant life Jesus gave to us. So stop plunging the whole world into a third world war. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Yes, God is speaking to you right now to turn away from your wicked ways so that you can have joy and peace. And uh, I'm believing God that you have heard the word of God. We're not going to keep quiet. We keep quiet and the devil go and have his way. The devil cannot have his way. And uh, people who do these things, they, they don't end up well. Oh no, they don't end up well. Adolf Hitler, he committed suicide. After he plunged the whole world into the Second World War, uh, he committed suicide, killed himself. And the Bible says, whosoever committed suicide is cursed. The cost is everyone that died by hanging. You see how it ended, ended very badly. You know, is that the way you want to follow? Those are the ways of destruction. The, the ways of destruction. Those are not the ways of God. Those are the ways of Satan. Jesus said, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. And very few are finding it. Then Jesus said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many are going over there. I pray today that you will not go in the way, the broad way that leads to destruction. You need to follow the narrow way that leads to the kingdom of God. The narrow way that leads to heaven. The narrow way that takes you to the kingdom of God. That is the narrow way you should follow. Don't follow the broad way. That leads to destruction of life and property. No, you don't have to. You know, bless is the man, bless is the man whose God is the Lord, whose God is the Lord. Bless is the man, bless is the man, bless is the man, blessed is the man whose God is the Lord. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. We need to trust in the Lord with all our hearts. To trust in the Lord, to have faith in God, so that you have eternal life. Eternal life is what we should be thinking about. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, over to you, Pastor. You have something to share, whatever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I just wanted to um, to say that uh, the people of God are not doing their job mm -hmm. like they're supposed to. Because the Bible says the judgment will start in the house of the Lord. Yes. And that's something we really need to be aware of, that judgment is going to start with us. Um, because believers, they don't know the truth. They don't know. But 
when we're Christians and we're studying the word, we, we know that we should do better. And it's time for us to step up to a new level. Yes. You know, God doesn't want us to sit here and drink. A baby can't drink milk all their life. When they get 20, 25, 30 years old, they can't still be drinking milk. It's time to eat solid food. We can't keep sitting down doing nothing and expecting things to change. Yeah. Um, God has created me and he's created you. And he's created each and every one of us for a purpose. And we just need to seek the Lord as to what purpose we have in his kingdom. Yeah. We're not here by accident. Nobody. You know, people sometimes they say, oh, he's an accident, or she's an accident. Well, there's not one person in this earth alive today that's an accident, because God doesn't create accidents. Yes. He's the creator, and everything is here for a reason and for a purpose. And that's what we need to know. What is our purpose? So that we can get on our J-O-B and do what God has called us to do. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, especially Christians, want to come to church, and they want to sit down and be comfortable. They want to come, and they want to hear a good sermon. And they want to hear some nice songs, and then that's it. Then they go home for the next week and do nothing. But yeah. they always want to be fed, but never want to get. You know, if you keep eating, yeah. you're going to get sick. But you need to give out. It's time for us to give out. And how do we give out? We give out to the world. There's people out in the world that need our our hands. They need our our voices. They need our, our, our gifting that God has given us. Yeah. And... We just can't keep down on this. You know, we just want to sit, 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 and receive, receive, receive. You know, but you can't keep getting and be satisfied. So the Bible says it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. So we need to start giving out so that God can replenish us. If you open your hands, you can receive and you can get back. Yes. But if you keep your hands closed, you can't do either. You can't receive or you can't give. But we need to open our hands to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. Send me. Here I am, Lord. Use me for your glory. Yeah. Whatever you give to me, Lord, I know that I'm able to do it because you created me with it. I can't prepackage. You know, when you get a, um, some uh, accessories and things like that, they come with the tools inside. You know, they have a little plastic bag with the tools. Yeah. So they come already ready. And we're already ready for the work of God. God has already seen practice stuff. Yeah. We are ready for the service of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And now it's time for us to get out there and do. Because when you get a, 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 a like a vacuum cleaner, you put everything together and you start using it to clean. We got to use our gifting for the kingdom of God. So he said, go out yeah. and compel them to come in. Maybe it's singing. Maybe it's teaching. Whatever it is, but use it for the glory of God because God has gifted us. He put us here for a purpose and we need to be about our father's business. That's what Jesus said. He said, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Didn't you know I'd be about my father's business? Yeah. Well, whose business are you about today? Are you about your own business or are you about your father's business? Because your father's business is supersedes any business we may have. And I have a small business, but God's business supersedes my personal business. God is in control. He gave us what we have. All of the things that we have is good. He said all good and perfect gifts come from the Father above. Yes. So everything we have is good comes from God. Now we need to bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise will continue to be in our mouth. We need to bless the Lord and let God know that we're thankful for all that he's done for us. And stop sitting down, being complacent, waiting for someone else. You know, a lot of times we're waiting for someone else to move. When God says, no, I gave it to you, you do it. You're looking at somebody else. Why is this like this? Why is this like that? You know, you're looking at other people, but you need to look at what God has given you. Yeah. And your gifts and your talent. And start using them. And stop waiting on other people. Because if you wait on other people, you'll be waiting a long time. <laughs> You got to just get out there by faith. Yeah. By faith, the Bible says in, 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 in Hebrews chapter 11, by faith, by faith. The first words of for all the people in the Bible, Esther and Daniel and, and Joseph, they said, by faith, Abraham, by faith. It was all by faith. Man. And we have to do the same thing by faith. Yeah. We can do whatever God has called us to do. And we need to be about our Father's business first. 
do the work of the Lord. And if we did what we were really supposed to do, everybody woke up out of their sleep and did what they were supposed to do, the whole world would look different and be different. But we are very complacent in the body of Christ. We're just sitting back waiting for someone else when God is waiting on us. And it's time for us to rise up, take a stand, and do something. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. We give God the praise and the glory. Yeah. Yes. Get up and do something. Yeah. Uh, Rise but, up. Yeah, go ahead. Rise go ahead. Up. Rise up. Rise up. That's what we need to do. Rise up. That's what God wants us to do. Rise up. Yeah. Glory to God. Rise up. Abundant life, abundant life, abundant life Jesus gave to us. Abundant life, abundant life, abundant life Jesus gave to us. Jesus said, peace be still. Today we say to every home, Every family, every marriage, every ministry, every church, we say to every nation, peace be still. Jesus is saying to the nations of the earth, peace be still. Receive peace. Peace like a river. Peace like an ocean. Peace to our homes and families and businesses and jobs. Our children, our husbands, our wives, peace be still. Jesus is saying to every one of us, peace be still. Receive peace like a river. Receive peace like an ocean. Peace I give to you. Peace, yes. God peace like a river. God peace like a river. God peace like a river in like my soul. Peace like, like a river, peace like a river, peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like an ocean, I got peace like an ocean, peace like a ocean in my soul. I got peace. <laughs> Peace like a river. Peace like a river in my soul. I got joy like a river. I got peace like a river. I got joy like a river. I got joy like a river in my soul. I got joy like a river. I got joy like a river. I got like joy it. like a river in my soul. Peace like a Jesus. Mm. The Lord is showing me people with financial difficulties. The Lord is showing me people with financial issues, financial problems. Yes. There's going to be an open door, an open gate, a breaking through and a breaking forth. We break forth. We possess our possession in the name of Jesus. Say that, lose your grip and hold from everything that belongs to us, the children of God. Lord, rebuke you, Satan. Lose your grip and hold from everything that belongs to us in the name of Jesus. We receive Abraham's blessing. We receive prosperity. We receive life and life more abundant. We receive peace like an ocean. We receive joy like a river. We receive all that God has for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I pray for everyone who is listening right now all over the world. As many that have joined this broadcast by uh, social media, by Facebook, Twitter, Link, and uh, all the rest of it, YouTube. God is saying to you, peace and joy and blessings and prosperity. Come into your home, to your family, to your business. Receive peace like a river. In the name Jesus of Jesus name. Christ. Amen and amen and amen. 
God bless Amen. you all. Amen. Yeah, we thank you all for joining us this program. Uh, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow night, we're going to have another section again. And uh, I want to thank Pastor Evangelist Vanessa Ali and her family for everything they've been doing for the Lord through this ministry. God reward them abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, we thank every one of you who keyed into this program. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, please forward this message to everyone. Email it, spread it, share it out. Let them know that Jesus came to give us peace and not war. God came to give us Amen. peace and joy and not war. We are not here for war. War is not for us. It's not for you. Yeah. It's not for your family. Yeah. We don't need war. The whole world needs peace. Jesus brought peace. Say peace to all yeah. men. Good will to peace. all. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He brought peace to the whole world. Please don't bring us war. Don't bring don't bring a third world war. We don't need it. We don't need it at all. We need the peace of God in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. Ninety seconds. In Jesus' God bless. name. Amen. Thank you so Jesus much. Jesus' name. God bless. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless. All right. Yes. Bye -bye. Amen. We got joy like the river, we got peace. Sixty seconds.